Little Dan Tucker. You might recall that was written by Daniel Decatur Emmett. And he had written quite a few songs that were popular in the minstrel era. But this is one of his latest ones and certainly, without a doubt, his most famous. And that was Dixie. It started out as a minstrel song. And then when the conflict between the war between the states or the war of the northern aggression or the war of the southern rebellion, depending on your point of view, it became adopted to other causes. Oh, and this is a banjo that would be typical from the mid-1840s to the 1860s. This is a copy of a banjo that would have been made by William Busher out of New York City. And so he had a factory and he's actually, you know, he's mass producing these instruments. So it's a little more advanced now in that we have brackets, like drums would have for adjusting the tension on the head in case it gets really humid and or it gets real tight and it wants to burst. So now you can adjust that. And so that's a major advancement for the time. Otherwise, it's still a fretless neck. You know, the banjo players, they don't need frets. Oh, <laughs> 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 
way down south in a land of traitors, rattlesnakes and alligators. Run away, go away, run away, come away. Where pumpkins came in, men are chattels. Union boys will win the battles. Run away, run away, run away, come away. We all go down to Dixie, away, away. Each Dixie boy must understand that he must find his Uncle Sam away.